So in this video, we're going to be going over some strongman basics with how to axle press. What's up guys, Ken from Cerberus USA here. So, like I said, today is going to be all about Strongman Basics Axle Clean and Press. So if you don't compete in Strongman and you've never seen an axle before, basically what it is, is it's a barbell but it's thicker. So it's also known as fat bar training uh, or a part of fat bar training. Basically what it is, is a two inch bar with non-revolving ends. And what that means is basically you have a regular barbell that has the sleeves in the bar, the bar on the barbell is just over an inch or around an inch and then those sleeves actually rotate on the bar. On an axle you don't have that, you literally have one straight solid bar, collars to stop the plates coming in and that's you. So the biggest difference between, uh, or the big limiting factor I should say, between a barbell and an axle is going to be your grip as well. So while you'll see the Olympic weightlifters uh, and some strongmen uh, who will power clean a barbell straight to their chest, some of them will do it with an axle as well. But for the most part, because the grip is a limiting factor, they're going to take that bar and they're going to clean it from the ground to their stomach and then to their shoulders in what's known as a continental clean, and then they're going to press it overhead. A lot of the time what you will also see during that first pull or that first part of the movement to your chest to your stomach sorry is going to be where instead of having a double overhand grip on the bar you're actually going to use a reverse grip as if you're deadlifting and that takes the grip issue out of it so today is just going to be literally a step by step into how i axle clean and press my setup uh how i go through the different stages and yeah that's that's basically what it's going to be about so before we get into that be sure to hit the subscribe button down below for all notifications or to get notifications on all future videos if you like the video give it a thumbs up and if you have any questions comments concerns anything like that put them down below that way i can get back to you okay so let's get to it the first initial part of the motion is going to be the initial pull to our stomachs so when i approach the bar i want to go up there and get my feet set in my deadlift stance the reason I want to use my deadlift stance is that's where I've developed all this power to pull the bar as fast as I possibly can from the floor to lock out. The only difference with this is that we are then triple extending up onto our toes, firing our hips and driving that bar into the air to catch it on our stomach. That's why I like using my deadlift stance. Then I can adjust my stance into the pressing, either or into my pressing stance, either from the stomach to the chest or then even when I get to my chest right before I press it. The other thing I want to do is I want to approach this with a mixed grip. So what I do with my grip is that if I'm, uh, the hand that I have overhand is going to stay exactly where I would want to press it, but my underhand is going to be flipped and then towards the outside of the bar, towards the weights a little bit more. That way when I go to flip it again into the double overhand position when it's on my stomach, I don't over rotate and then basically bring my hand off center towards me too much and then I'm totally unbalanced once I reach the chest. Uh, once I reach the chest. So there's the first part. Second part of the clean is the pop from the stomach up to the shoulders. Now what we want to do is you'll see a lot of people who will only dip in their knees, and it's almost as if they're like leaning back, and they don't get that. They don't get as much drive as as we possibly could. So what I like to think of is I like to think of uh, sitting my hips down and back and almost like folding in half and then popping through to then drive the bar up and out and what I want to think about is when I'm driving that bar I want that bar to come up but not come up only but come back as well so I want to try and springboard that bar up and into my throat that'll give you that nice popping motion so like I said you're driving back and down and then popping through up to the chest now once we get to the chest, then we can get all set with the feet set, with the grip set, everything feeling good, ready to pop it up into lockout. And it's literally, you know, you can split jerk it, you can push jerk it, push press it, whatever you want to do. The way I like to do it is I like to push jerk. And literally I want to be as aggressive as I possibly can be to get as much power transfer into the bar. Um, just a regular push jerk technique, we're loading the hips, driving up, 
sticking the head through and getting to lock out as quickly as possible. And then once we're there, the other part of it is bringing it back down. So with the tires you see in, these in this video, these bounce like nothing on earth. So if I'm, in, if I'm doing a one rep max in a contest, it doesn't really matter if it bounces too much. If I'm doing reps, I want to try and control that bar down as much as I possibly can. That way I can get straight on the bar again, straight into the clean and start knocking out reps. If we were using just bumper plates or wagon wheels which don't bounce that much, then you can take off a little bit of the emphasis of the control factor on the way down. So there is the step-by-step -step guide. Hopefully it helps some. If you like the video, like I said, give it a thumbs up, give me some questions, all that good stuff. And until next time, keep training, keep training strong, and I will catch you then.